five species in the genus Parodia are on the complex end of the choreography spectrum in the Birds of Paradise. They combine their shape-shifting abilities with incredible footwork and exhibit a repertoire of dance steps that is without equal. While each species dances during courtship, none has a set of moves as complex and extensive as Corolla's Parodia. With up to six different dance moves, Corolla's Parodia is the undisputed king of the dance. Here's what he does. First up is the perch pivot. It's called a pivot because the male is pivoting back and forth from side to side, left to right. Males always do this on a horizontal branch somewhere above the display cord. In this case, the male is also carrying a leaf, sort of as a prop, which it looks like he's using to kind of add to the effect here. The next move is the head tilt. This display takes place on the horizontal perch where the male hops up and gets next to the female. And he tilts his head from left to right. Sometimes he holds it on one side and flutters his throat feathers a little bit. It may not look like much at first glance, but it's a regular component of the courtship display. Next up is a move called the court hop. Typically a female will be watching from the display branch or very nearby at this point. A male starts on one end of the court and he does a sudden quick hop across the court in one direction, pauses, and then hops back. Next up is a move called the swaying bounce. This is one of the more complex and physically demanding of, of all the dance moves. It begins with the male standing in, in one place, usually right underneath the horizontal perch where the females are looking down at him. And then he starts to bounce vigorously back and forth, back and forth, while fluttering his wings. Tim got a really cool photograph of this where he was using a slow shutter, but with a burst of flash. And what we saw is that the male is actually moving his head in this near perfect figure eight or infinity sign. When this behavior goes on for a long period of time, the male does another version of the swaying bounce where he closes his wings and then bounces more vigorously up and down side to side. Now comes the hop and shake. Here the male stands in one place, dips down, lifts up, does a little hop, and he ruffles and shakes his flank plumes. Also see how he shakes his head and flutters those whisker feathers under his chin. The main thing about the hop and shake is that it's the lead-in to the quintessential parodia display, the ballerina dance. The ballerina dance is so complex, it's actually a composite of four very distinct moves. The first of these is the bow, then comes the walk, then there's a dramatic pause, and finally comes the waggle. Now it's important to note that what we're seeing here is precision choreography. These aren't just a bunch of random moves arbitrarily thrown together to impress the females. Rather, male parodias have a specific set of dance moves that have to happen in the proper way and in the right sequence in order for them to be successful. In other words, if a male parodia has four dance moves, he has to perform those moves in the right way and in the right sequence every time. The first move has to come before the second, the second before the third, and so on. Another way of thinking about it is that a male just can't show up and go right to the ballerina dance if he expects to be able to mate. On one hand, all of these moves can be rather amusing, sometimes quite funny. But it's also mind-blowing to think that these birds have evolved the capacity to dance in such a complex and ritualized way for no other reason than for courtship display.